this is the second year in a row that I've been invited to give a guest class here. So I must have done something right last year when I was here. I know this is really late in the season for all of those people singing and playing today. I feel kind of guilty about that because I'm sure you're up to here with instructions and suggestions and classes and all that stuff. But if you just put up with one more, that would be really nice of you. Um, I don't think any of you have a program or a scorecard or anything, but uh, I'd like to do in this order, uh, Von Ewige Liebe by Brahms, Aller Seelen by Strauss, Nacht by Strauss, uh, the Mahler song from the Wayfarer songs, Ich habe ein glühend Messer, Wolf's Seemanns Abschied, and then last we'll do a Schumann song called Der Schöne Wieger meine Leiden. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you. Me too. I didn't say, I meant to say this when I started, that I really enjoyed the concert last night. Congrats to all of you. The rep was wonderful. The performances were terrific. I, I was very captivated by the whole thing. So congrats to all of you. And some of you, I guess, are singing again, right, today. So Elizabeth is singing uh, a song by Strauss that is as beloved as that song was by Brahms, OK? Yes, this it's is called, uh, Allah Zeman. Uh, which means All Souls Day, and it is um, the day when the dead are believed to come back to the land of the living. And so the poem is, um, place on the table the fragrant mignonettes and bring in the last of the red asterns, and let us speak again of love, the Einstein Mai, as once in May. Give me your hand so that I might secretly press it, and if someone sees, I don't care. Give me just one of your sweet glances as once in May. Today, all of the graves are fragrant and flowering because it's the one day of the year that the dead are free. So come to my heart that I might have you again as once in May.
beautifully sung, really. And I, I believe you. Um, so whether this is her faith or not her faith, or whether she's Viennese and goes to the cemetery on November 1st or not, I, I believe she does at this time. Um, you sound like you want it faster than she wants it. Is, is there any truth to that, or am I just... Uh, Yeah, well, Schwung is, you know, Schwung is, hmm, I'm not sure I would use that word okay. exactly. Um, the introduction, say, I don't even like to call it an introduction because it actually is the tune that Elizabeth will sing later in the song. So it's really the, the core of the song is the very first thing the pianist plays. What's happening in your video during the introduction? Yeah. Um, for it's a long introduction, you know? It's what, 10 bars or something? Mm -hmm. I think for me, I think uh, that the voice is that of one who has passed away. Okay. And so it's coming back to the world we're living and seeing it again after being wherever else they've been. And what about the beloved that's coming to visit you? Mm -hmm. And then that it's the loved one. That Do you see him coming? Mm -hmm. How is he walking? Can you walk like him? Since you're dead, you can't do the walking. Yes. Some people feel the person singing is the living person. Some people feel the person singing is the dead person. It doesn't matter. They're still going to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. But somebody is going to the cemetery, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Can I see that person going to the cemetery? You only get one day a year to do this. And you're making your speech up. Great. So what do you think of that? Yeah. You buy that? I buy that? Would you walk to the cemetery like that? Yes. Great. Then you need to walk to the cemetery like that when you play. Okay? And since, oh, I'm so sorry. Since Elizabeth chooses to breathe in this motto phrase, Es duftet whatever is it? Es berührt und duftet heut auf, and she breathes there. Since we will hear that phrase first from the piano, you need to breathe there, or you're actually correcting her in public. Right? You're saying, oh gee, my breath management is better than yours. No way. If you rehearse it once, the first time you rehearse it with a, with a singer, you don't know whether she's going to breathe there or not. So yeah. that, that's a legit mistake to make. Yeah. But once you know she's yes. going to, does she always? Yeah. Great. Okay. So now let's do it with no apologies. This is the only way this tune can be played is with a breath in that bar. Okay? But mostly with this tranquil, pensive, meditative, thankful for this date, mm. sorry to have lost this person, all those, those things, okay? So take your metabolism way down from where it was. Excuse me that I stop you guys, everybody, so often. I apologize. Um, does that fit with what you want mm -hmm. to hear? See, then she will yeah. fuse with you. We won't really be able to tell where one person starts and the other one stops. It seems like her breathing now is, yeah. you're like not resenting her breathing, but you're saying, I love that you breathe, yeah. and I'm an instrument that doesn't require air, but I'm going to pretend that I do require air, yeah. which is what makes pianists sound so great. Yeah. Okay, super. The phrase you just sang, there we have a, a phrase, as many of you know, where we have eight eighth notes in the voice part, the same eight eighth notes in the piano part, and German text on every single note, right? It's very syllabic there. So I would ask you to say that for the class here, that phrase, die letzten. Die letzten roten Asten, sag